to uh, first say what is a congratulations to the Barack Obama campaign for bringing home a tremendous victory. A new change in the United hey. States history has been written. Finally. It was yeah. written by people of all backgrounds, particularly young people, but it was a coming together like uh, this country hasn't seen at least since the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, the women's liberation movement. And so now with the mantra of change, we've got to secure that change. Yeah. Yeah. And so what we have to do is redouble our efforts. Of course, that, what that also means is that the Green Party came in a few vo votes short of the 270 required electoral college votes. But hopefully Cindy Sheehan won't come in short today. And I can think of no better place to be than with Cindy Sheehan, my sister. In my 2006 campaign, Cindy traveled all the way to Georgia to be with me. And in 2006, again, we came in a few votes short. And so it ended my congressional career, but it began a substantive, real, long, good relationship with a woman who has shown us also what America can produce. Cindy Sheehan reminds me of the quote from Bobby Kennedy when he said, a single act on behalf of justice, when combined with millions of other acts for justice, can make a mighty torrent that will wash down even the harshest walls of oppression. Amen. And so what we have to do is we have to create that torrent that's going to end war and occupation, that's going to end social injustice. I was in Huntsville, Texas the other day where a man was executed. Why is it that George Bush and the state of Texas and the United States government can randomly, recklessly kill people and try and tell us that killing people is wrong? One million Iraqis dead. How many Pakistanis dead? How many Syrians dead? How many Afghanis dead? How many Americans dead? How many times are we going to accept Never. what this rogue government is doing to us? Well, we don't have to accept it much longer. So I'm looking forward to this change. I'm looking forward to engaging the system so that we can produce the change that reflects our values. Because the bottom line is that whatever it was that was discussed in this political campaign, it was not the discourse of our values. It was a horse race. It was a fashion show. It was a popularity contest. It was everything except talking about repealing NAFTA, a livable wage, a full employment economy. It was everything except providing for a Medicare for all type of health care system so that people are not underinsured or uninsured altogether. These are the issues that we have to discuss. And these are the issues that families discuss at their dinner table. And I know that when Cindy goes to Washington, yeah. D.C., representing me, these are the issues that she takes to Washington, D.C. The time is out for special interest rule in Washington, D.C. Time is out for special interest rule in Sacramento, California, and in all the state capitals across this country. It is time for us to take our country back. And I believe the change in the White House is the beginning of people thinking that they have taken their country back. And our work now is to organize, mobilize, agitate, to make sure that we have changed. And I want to thank all of you who have supported me. It's been a very tough, difficult campaign. And a lot of times, my, I faced a lot of criticism from people at home, like my mother, who wanted me to do something else. And I always found some public policy cause 
that was greater than my own cause. And so wow. now. Thank you for standing up. country. We love the people of this country. And I certainly love all of you and thank you for your support.